welcome to online classes good morning students i am sujatha working as a crt in kcbb at ramagiri today we started new chapter in 10th class 7th chapter classification of elements the periodic table classification means to divide or to separate example A medical shop contains a vast number of medicines. The shopkeeper find difficult or impossible to to remember all the names of medicines. When you go to a medical shop and ask the shopkeeper keep, for a particular medicine, he hand over it to you without any difficult. How it is possible? and think about super bazaar or markets when you go step inside you see a particular arrangement of goods inside it uh, for example soaps shampoos and oil bottles uh, so many things are separated in a uh, particular arrangement in what way it makes you your selection easy from the above discussions you understand that for any system involving several things a particular order of arrangement of those things is essential in chemistry from the earliest times scientists have been trying to classify the available elements on the basis of their properties in 1661 robert boyle defined an element as any substance that cannot be decomposed into a further simple substance by a physical or chemical change at his time about 13 elements were known towards the end of the 18th century by the time of lewis 11 elements were discovered by 1865 about 63 elements were known and by 1940 a total of 91 elements 91 elements from natural resources and another 17 elements from synthetically were obtained including synthetic elements there are more than 115 elements as the number of elements increased it becomes difficult to keep in the memory of chemistries of individual elements and their chemical properties and physical properties and their compounds it is too difficult in previous in previous class we learnt that elements were classified into metals and non metals but this classification had so many limitations so there was a need to classify them in other ways next topic dobernier's law of triads dobernier is a chemist uh, in 1829 his full name is john wolfgang dobernier triads means three elements in similar properties he noted that there were groups of elements with three elements known as triads in group in each group with similar chemical properties he tried to give give a relationship between the properties of elements and their atomic weights dobernier stated that when elements with similar properties are taken three at a time and arranged in the ascending order increasing increasing order of their atomic weights the atomic weight of the middle element is the average of the atomic weight of the first and third elements this statement is called dobernier's law of triads for example uh, we observed the table there are a b c d 
groups in the table look at the table the table divides three parts groups uh, elements and their atomic weights arithmetic mean of first and third elements atomic weight in in a group there are three elements lithium sodium potassium lithium a, lithium atomic weight is 7.0 sodium atomic weight is 23.0 and potassium atomic weight is 39.0 the arithmetic mean of first and third elements atomic weight that means lithium and potassium atomic weights arithmetic mean is 7.0 plus 39.0 by 2 that is equals to 46 46 by 2 that is equals to 23.0 so this means the uh, the um, the middle element atomic weight is equals to the arithmetic mean of first and similarly in group b there are three elements the elements are calcium strontium and barium calcium atomic weight is 45 40.0 and strontium atomic weight is 87.5 and barium atomic weight is 137.0 arithmetic mean of first and third elements is 40.0 plus 137.0 by 2 that is equals to 177.0 by 2 that is equals to 88.5 88.5 is near to 87.5 that means the arithmetic weight of strontium is equals to the arithmetic mean of first and third elements atomic weight and similarly in c group there are three elements chlorine bromine iodine chlorine atomic weight is 35.5 bromine atomic weight is 80.0 and iodine atomic weight is 127.0 the arithmetic mean of first and third elements atomic weight is in group c first element is chlorine chlorine atomic weight is 35.5 and third element is iodine iodine atomic weight is 127.0 so the arithmetic mean of first and third elements is 35.5 plus 127.0 by 2 that is equals to 162.5 by 2 that is equals to 81.25 so 81.25 is equals to uh, is near near to 80.0 that means bromine atomic weight is equals to the atomic mean of first and third elements atomic weight and similarly in group d there are three elements first element is sulfur and second one is selenium and third one is tellurium so sulfur atomic weight is 32.0 and selenium atomic weight is 78.0 tellurium atomic weight is 125.0 so that the arithmetic mean of first and third element elements are atomic weight is first element is first element is sulfur sulfur atomic weight is 32.0 and third element is tellurium tellurium atomic weight is 125.0 so the arithmetic mean of first and third element is 32.0 plus 125 tellurium arithmetic tellurium atomic weight is 125 so the arithmetic mean of first and third elements atomic weight is 32.0 plus 125.0 by 2 that is equals to 157.0 by 
that is equals to 78.5 78.5 is near to 78 that means arithmetic mean of first and third element atomic weight is equals to the atomic weight of second element and similarly in e group there are three elements manganese cro chromium and iron manganese or manganese atomic weight is 50 55.0 chromium atomic weight is 52.0 and iron atomic weight is 56.0 Uh, the arithmetic mean of first and third elements atomic weight is that means manganese and iron atomic weights arithmetic mean is 55.0 plus 56.0 by 2 that is equals to uh, 111.0 by 2 that is equals to 55.5 55. 55. 55.5 is near to 52.0 that means the chromium atomic weight is equals to the arithmetic mean of first and third elements uh, there are uh, those are manganese and iron atomic arithmetic mean is equals to the chromium arithmetic weight so this table is example for dobernier's law of triads and there are three limitations in dobernier's law of triad first one is all the known elements at the time could not be arranged in the form of triads this is the first one all the known elements at the time could not be arranged in the form of triads then second one is the law failed for every low every low mass or for every high mass elements and third one is as the technicians improved for measuring atomic weights accurately the law was unable to remain strictly valid these are the limitations in dobernier's law of triad this is the dobernier's law of triads and its limitations